some bad news, guys. We know that AnyWave and all the different sister websites that has the same database has been taken down recently with a lot of different sites too, but... Huge anime pirate site in <laughs> HTI being forced to shut down while we will lose a lot of content. The chibi, give it to me. If there is one thing that goes hand in hand with the internet, it yeah. is Rule 34. And I'm willing to bet you that yeah. this pirate site in HTI being taken down today is going to affect a lot more people mm. than the people that were affected last week with the anime takedown of a bunch of different <laughs> illegal streaming sites for anime. Yeah. I know for a fact this is going to hurt a lot of people because a lot of people... Yeah, it's going to be busting a lot of people's balls, man. People are probably going to wake up today and they're probably going to go to their favorites, you know, uh, in <laughs> like... Well... Everybody knows that Enhentai is for fucking casuals. Genuinely. If you use this site, you are actually a fucking noob. Like, this is some Google Gaga baby website, bro. You getting your fucking memes from fucking 9 gag. The real ones know of a certain website backed by a sad panda. So, like, you know, like, that shit's still good right now. But, like, it is sad that this, uh, this is going down. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? And then they're going to see it trending on Twitter. Yeah, I've mean, uh -huh. seen it trending on Twitter. And there's been a bunch of articles and stuff already being made about this. Talking about this situation. And oh I'm just like, oh my goodness. This is kind of... It's kind of a big deal. So, let's get into this. So, basically, Japan has been pretty hard on yeah. piracy for a very long time. And it's not something that just came out of nowhere. But... Especially this last year, Japan has definitely been cracking down on, let's say, any form of copyright infringement to either leaks and spoilers with JJK, yep. which I talked about in my previous video last week, Kaburachi. to straight up trying to take down illegal anime websites. And as I said, no matter what Japan or any of these copyright holders do, not just Japan but different countries, try to do to effectively erase pirate sites... It's not going to really do anything. It's yep. like when you remove something, 10 more will appear. It's like... Hydra example, remember, this is just internet culture. You can't just remove this shit. People are going to find different, you know, options in the next coming weeks. A Hydra, it just, you can't get rid of it. It will mm -hmm. continuously pop up with more and more sites that are very similar to it. However, the point is, is that sometimes when these sites are taken down, sometimes the database is permanently lost, where the content on these said sites are gone for good, and mm -hmm. you can never access them because obviously it was the only site that may have had some of the content on. No, I don't think Enhenta is the most comprehensive database straight up like like i said like sad panda bro like if you know what that is like i i, I don't completely know how they're all interconnected but i'm pretty sure the things backed by sad panda is much more <laughs> comprehensive and not as brittle to being taken down by shit like this the internet and so effectively what just happened with nh tie here and obviously if you're wondering why i'm saying it like that i'm having to censor it because of youtube so just f Hentai. No, I know the YouTube game. It's a specific word that will trigger a limited ad. And it's the certain word to describe a woman's coochie with the letter C. That will always fucking get that shit limited ad. It's so fucking annoying. Why not? But anyways, back in the point, pretty much the reason why this site is such a big deal being taken down is because there is like... Tens of thousands of different dojins and different stuff that is obviously for adults on that site and for people to read. And obviously there is a few works, maybe a few hundred, that is definitely copyright infringement. For instance, the companies have a legal right to be able to take those down from the site. And I, look, I as much as people get upset about that, companies do have a right to take down copyright stuff because they do own it. They, they're yeah. license holders, etc. But the point is, is that... For a while now, according to this article, you had people in California and all that, they were trying to take down the, um, the site in HTI because apparently it had a lot of copyright infringement and they just, they didn't like to see this on, you know, <laughs> online. Yakiniku Teikoku, M-G-M-E-E, Shirokuro, Aureole, Kiraboshi Messenger. 
Nasi pasuya. Nasi pasta. <laughs> Just looking at these censorship. People to be able to access. And so, pretty much, NH Thai has been going yeah. through a legal court battle for quite a while now. And they have effectively lost. They have taken quite an L. No! Which is why the site is... Attracting over 79 million visits per month, the complaint reads. Damn, that's pretty good, man. Pretty much down at this point. Now, here's the thing. The the overall allegations or what is being said within this copyright infringement case is that obviously NH Thai has posted quite a few, you know, works that could be considered illegal. For instance, like, you know, a bunch of stuff that the license holders hold and yeah. they copyrighted them. But the thing is, there is a vast amount of the catalog on that site that is not copyrighted whatsoever and is not even obtainable through legal means because it's not licensed by any... <laughs> So again, we're going back to the whole uh, win condition of service issue, you know? You don't even have these different services that allows the consumers to consume the things that they want. So, you know, websites like this are helpful, I guess. And the only, like, certain people that kind of own the licensing are a random person that potentially draws a manga and goes to a convention and allows people to buy it right then and there. So there is a lot of content, let's say, on NHTI that is just unaccessible or unbuyable from anywhere even if you wanted to purchase it and that's not even including the translations etc that people have put into it just for people to be able to read it around the world but what i'm getting at is is that with the site being taken down there is a lot of content that is effectively lost because even if you know once again the companies have a legal right to be upset with it in a I don't think they'll be actually lost though because like it's not like the database that nhti uses is the one and only thing, right? There's multiple different sources. I don't think an H is even the best, right? Like I'm not completely sure how it works, but I'm pretty sure an H is honestly not one of the most comprehensive databases for dojins and shit. H tie and get their works off the platform. They took down the whole site, which means a bunch of works that are not even affiliated with them are now permanently lost. And I think that's a pretty big deal because this goes back into what I talked about last service week when issue. it comes to the whole piracy situation and that piracy is a service issue. And I don't want to retread what I talked about last week and say the exact same thing, but this once again reinforces the point I was trying to make is that... You know, when you continue to push people away and you don't offer a product legally and a good product at that, people will find other ways to obtain said product. And in this yep. case, obviously, you know, NHTI, yeah, it's a big blow. And there's probably going to be some works that are theoretically lost and you'll never be able to see again unless someone has it saved or something. But there is alternatives still out there. I'm not going to name drop them. <laughs> this is all you need. This is straight up. This is the gold standard. And if you don't know what this is, you have no idea what you're missing out on. Like, you think you know NSFW? <laughs> you don't. Genuinely, you do not. They're not going to name drop them or anything like that, but there is quite a few and one that, you know, is pretty good that I feel like has most of the works that probably was exactly. on NHI. And more. But getting back to the main point, what I'm trying to say is, is that I know people might be quick to say, how is this my problem? It's just content for adults. It's just... Well, no, again, it's not about whenever these censorships happens. It's not about the anime titties being censored in anime. It's not about the woke localizers going out of the way to change the stuff, though. Yeah, it sucks, right? But, like, it's not about the titties or the ass. It's about the actual censorship and the precedence that it, stand, it sets, right? The more you have these kind of situations, the more momentum grows for other shit to get shut down, right? Yes. You might be a fucking Puritan and think that, oh my god, you know, your fucking favorite porn site got taken down, fucking go jack off somewhere else. That's not the point. The point is the precedence that this sets as we move forward and companies starts to take more shit down and even your favorite shit. And by the time that comes by, other people will say the same shit to you. And you will understand how stupid of a point it is to say, oh, it's just fucking titties and ass being censored. It's not about that. 18 plus content etc this doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things and here's the thing the reason why this matters is is because you have a big massive collection that is just being taken on offline that you know technically the copyright holders have nothing to do with because there's stuff that's not even licensed and you know is not even affiliated with any of things that they're doing but they got the whole site taken down and it causes just a massive catalog to be permanently lost it's kind of like you know people that try to find found footage videos or anything like that 
that it's like content is permanently lost from the internet. It's rare, but it can definitely happen, and I hate to see stuff like that. So, I feel like this overall copyright situation is uh, a pretty big deal. Like I said, I feel like this is going to affect a lot more people than, <laughs> let's say, those that uh, probably used anime websites. Do you think... Hmm. The app... It's like... People that seek out random pirate sites versus people that suck, seek out hentai. I think there is less people that seek out just anime because, like, people just want to rub one off and they just see any fucking anime girl. Yeah. I think there's definitely going to be more people impacted by this. I agree. Sites that got shut down last week. I'm curious to see what people will say. I mean, looking at my comment section just on my post I made a few hours ago, I'm already starting to see a lot of people, just, you know, genuine reaction and how upset they kind of are about the situation. So I think this kind of shows, yeah, a lot of people... <laughs> what the fuck was <laughs> when your aura too freaky? A lot of people 100% are really upset about this. And so, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Are you devastated by this? Are you... I'm not really devastated because, again, like, if you use Enhenta, you are a fucking Goo Goo Gaga baby that don't know how the internet fucking works. There's much more reliable, comprehensive sources. And it's not to justify why, you know, this is bad or good. Like, taking down this shit is terrible, right? It's not about the titties and ass. Again, it's all about the precedence that it sets and having kind of uh, cases like this embolden more movements of copyright takedowns of your favorite shit, too. So just remember... It's not about the titties or asses. It's about the precedence. It's a service issue. Please go give Chibi a like. Sub to his channel if you haven't. I'll see you next time.